Welcome to PBI with edit tool. If you are using overlapping bar chart for first time you have to click on modify visual. If you are a first time user you will need to register on our website by clicking this blue line and then you will need to activate that. After fill these details you can log in from here. If you are a first time user then it will take a few minutes to load. After that you can go here in library and go to the visual which you want to modify. Import it from here. Quick overview to this tool. The, the left panel deals with the chart types and the data fields. The middle panel is all about the formatting option as you like to show in your visual. The right panel is where you select your data as well as see the real time rendering of the visual. One thing to notice the data used here is a sample data but when you export the visual the data will be used what you have in Power BI. So if you connecting to a SQL database or an Excel file or any other data source you would see that this sample data will not be associated with the exported file. So this is for just demonstration purpose or looking at how the visual looks like in real time. On the top you can switch between visual editors if you have multiple ones and you can export your visual from here. For user who wants to use right away we have already created a visual for you. All you need to do is go to export visual and fill all the details. Fill the right details for your version, your name, display name as you like. Support URL, you can skip your name and your email. Do change the GUID by clicking refresh. This is important because this GUID has to be unique for your visual. So when you are using this visual in your Power BI dashboard, this ID has to be unique. It should not have a conflict with any other GUID from the marketplace or any of the visual you might used before. If you are doing an update to the visual and this is not your first time, we recommend keeping the GUID same because that will help you with update. But if you are not updating and this is your very first download, please click on this refresh button and create a new GUID for your visual. This will ensure that there is no conflict with any other marketplace visual. The fields are pre-selected which you will need in the format part you can choose whatever you like in your visual we have choose the most appropriate options you can change them by check or uncheck here if you are opting to a single time download i would recommend you to choose all options because you will not get second chance after you pay and download so we recommend tick all the options those are here if you are on a subscription plan, however, we recommend selecting the options that are necessary. This will help avoid cluttered in your Power BI visual. If you need another visual, you can always come back and select what you need in your visual. Once you are satisfied with all the changes you made, we recommend you to export the free visual. Try it out and when you are happy, you can go and make a purchase. By clicking on pay and export and there is a subscription plan option as well. So if I click on export, it is take about a minute or two depends on how busy this server is. So in a minute or two, you will get a prompt that your visual has been downloaded. As you can see here, this visual has been downloaded. Let's go to Power BI and import this visual. Now we are on Power BI file. So to import our visual, we need to click on these three points and import a visual from a file select this. This shows us a warning, but you need not need to worry about this because our visual are very safe from the folder where you have downloaded that. By clicking on this tiny icon, we get our visual. Let's drag it. A little bit now we are going to put our data in data fields 
I want country in Y axis and in back bar I want 2020 and in front bar I want 2017 so here is our visual we can change a little bit we can increase size of the visual we can increase our font size from here we can change our legends position and text size from here I want a little bit increased a label font size now it's fine for me I'm increasing the other bar font size from here and this is fine for me like this you can change your visual or edit your visual as you want we hope you are able to create some powerful insights using this overlapping bar chart and do let us know if you face any issues by contacting us through the email provided on our website. Thank you.